Looking to take your micro grocery store online? In this day and age, consumers expect convenience, which includes shopping from the comfort of their own home. While you may sell a limited range of local produce compared to commercial supermarkets, that doesn't mean you can't appeal to a larger audience. Today, we'll be providing you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to move your micro grocery store online. I'm Sissy, here with Jotform. Let's get started. First, you need to determine your delivery region. It's best to focus your delivery efforts in your local area because it can be expensive to deliver to a destination that is far away. Start by asking yourself, where are the nearest locations where a majority of customers reside? You should plan based on your budget and expected sales. You can always expand your delivery region once your store starts to perform well, but it's good to start small. Next, devise your marketing strategy. You can't run a store successfully if no one knows about it, which is where marketing comes in. Since you're moving your grocery store online, you'll have to change some of your strategies. Think about how you will promote your business online. A good marketing plan will take you far. Focusing on things like search engine optimization and leveraging paid ads will help you to build brand awareness and optimize your online store, making it easier for people to find it through online searches. Utilizing the right marketing strategies for an online setting will help you to stand out from the competition. Now it's time to actually set up your e-commerce website. Your website needs to be simple and easy to use so that people can place and pay for orders online. Set up a company portal to facilitate e-commerce transactions. With this, you're able to advertise products and prices, process orders, provide delivery details, and make payments. Jotform is perfect for setting up online ordering. Jotform makes it easy to accept credit card payments, generate receipts, and automate the entire ordering process for your micro grocery store. You can even set up multiple payment options with tools like PayPal, Square, or Stripe. These tools make it easy for customers to submit orders online, increasing your conversions and sales. Next, implement an order tracking system. People want to know exactly where their order is and how long it will take to be delivered. Plus, if an item is damaged or lost entirely during transit, customers are unlikely to do business with you again. Using a tracking system will allow you and your customers to monitor your deliveries from the point of purchase until delivery. You can partner with Instacart to keep tabs on your product and make sure that your deliveries arrive safely. Our next step is to make your online store mobile friendly. Since about 56% of consumers use their phones to shop online, having a mobile friendly website is vital to the success of your online store. Be sure to test your website on a mobile device to make sure it functions properly and make any changes necessary. Your website should offer a simple interface, smooth navigation, and an overall enjoyable user experience. The easier it is for customers to find your products and place orders, the more likely they are to return and recommend the site to others. Next, think about the security of your website. You need to ensure that your customer's data is safe. About 62% of customers are worried that a hacker will take over their bank account and steal their money, and 65% are anxious about losing their personal data through a security breach. If your customers feel like their data isn't safe, when they go to use your website, it won't gain any online business. The good news is that you can utilize managed cloud hosting platforms like Trend Micro, which will take care of your website security for you. You could also use secure e-commerce websites like Shopify, Magento, and WooCommerce. They all have GDPR compliant features and are PCI compliant, so you can be sure that your customer's data is protected. Our next step is to leverage social proof. Nearly 78% of consumers value the advice they get from friends and family over all other marketing efforts. Social proof is an excellent advertising tactic for local businesses as it helps them build a trustworthy reputation and convinces new customers to become loyal customers. After your online store starts getting some more traction, you can encourage customers to leave reviews on your website or social media. Seeing these positive reviews will attract even more customers. And the final step is to offer incentives to attract customers. When it comes to grocery shopping, some customers may be apprehensive about doing it online. 
They may worry that their groceries will go missing or that their credit card information will be stolen. So instead of making a complete shift to online orders, try easing into it and persuading your customers to buy from you online. You can do this by handing out coupons for online order discounts in stores or sending them to your customers in the mail. This will convince your customers to try out buying from you online. Once they see how easy and convenient it is, they'll want to buy online again. Okay, let's review the eight steps. First, determine your delivery region. Then devise your marketing strategy. Next, set up your e-commerce website. Then implement an order tracking system and make sure your online store is mobile friendly. Next, focus on the security of your store, leverage your social proof, and offer incentives to attract more customers. Many businesses are realizing that going online isn't an option. Having an online store both ensures the longevity of your store and allows you to reach a much larger audience. You can check out Jotform's list of integrations at jotform.com to see how we can help you with taking customers' online orders and processing online payments. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you found this video to be helpful. I'm Sissy here with Jotform. Have a good one.